it is, what it was, what it could be, y'all. Welcome back to Disc Golf Justice. Today I wanna find out, does adding a run up add distance to your throw, or at least to my throw? I can really only speak for myself. A phrase that we've all heard like a million times since we started playing disc golf is slow is smooth, smooth is far. And when you watch pros like Drew Gibson who have such a slow and compact form, but have crazy amounts of distance, some of the furthest throwers on the planet, you really can't question that logic. So to figure out what works best for me, I got a putter, a mid range, and a distance driver. And I'm gonna throw all three of these from a standstill with the slow walk up and with the full on run up and see which one gets me the most distance or the most accuracy and consistency. Let's start off with the standstill. When I first started playing disc golf, I pretty much only threw from a standstill. We'll see how we go, if I can still do it. Bit of Annie. Definitely not much distance there. Try the, the mid range, put that a little higher. Still on Annie. <laughs> and still not much distance. All right, let's try the big boy, the distance driver. I pulled that one a bit. It's, it's going further than the other ones for sure. Not as consistent though. I'm just gonna measure these out using the U-Disc app. I used to have a range finder, but I lost the sun gun. So not the biggest distances there. The putter, I needed to get more height on it. I think I could've got more distance out of it, but we got 215 feet with the NV, 264 feet with the Pathfinder, and 307 feet with the uh, Fission Photon. So let's try these out with a small walk up and see if we can't get a little bit more distance. A little bit of hyzer, slightly nose up, that's all right. Oh, turned that over a bit, rolled my wrist, I think. It's down there, and the distance driver. Put that on hyzer as well, and a bit nose up. Those definitely weren't as consistent from the standstill, but if you've been watching my content for a while, you've probably noticed, or you may have noticed, that I either only really throw from a standstill or I throw with my full-on run-up. I don't really like that in-between like this one. I just feel like this is exactly what happens. I'm not as consistent. I may get more distance, but I'm just not as consistent. Let's go measure them out. Okay, so for the slow walk-up, slow approach, with the putter, I got 261 feet, the mid-range was 309 feet, and the distance driver was 342 feet. So significantly jumped up in distance, but I know I can throw these further with a faster run-up. The thing is, the way I've set my form up, it, the timing only really works when I'm going 100%. So when I go down to a standstill, or when I go to that slow approach like this one, that really throws off my timing because because I'm still throwing probably just as fast and hard as I would if I was doing a fast run up, but my body is moving slower, so the timing's all off. It's something I should work on, I know, but here we are. Let's give these a crack with a full on run up and uh, see how far I can rip them. Rolled my wrist on that, put it on Annie. Oh, turn that over. I think I did the same thing. Well, the final results are in and they're pretty much right on with what I thought. Even though I didn't get a good rip on any of those uh, last drives, they were all pretty weak. The putter went 267 feet, so it did beat the the slow walk up putter distance. The mid range only went 283 feet. It was a good rip. I, I just put it on a bad angle. I should have put it on more highs or I turned it over and didn't give it the height. It only went 283 feet. And the distance driver, not the best rip, went 383 feet. So a whole hundred feet further than the mid range. I can definitely throw further than that with that photon. Wasn't the best rip, but like I said, I think this has more to do with how my form set up to with a, a faster approach, a faster run up, because when I, when I slow down my approach, I don't actually slow down my form. My form's still going 110 miles an hour, so the timing gets messed up. If you can fix that and get your timing to work when you're with a slow approach and with a fast run up, hey, you'll be throwing like Simon and Eagle and Paul McBeth, you know what I mean? You'll be playing with the best of them, but I ain't got that skill yet. <laughs> Let me know what you guys think. Do you throw from a standstill? Do you throw with a slow approach? Do you throw with a full-on run-up? And which one gets you the most distance or the most consistency? I'm pretty curious. I think for me, full run-up or standstill, the in-between I kind of get you know, not so good, not so hot. But if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure you give it a big old thumbs up. If you want to see more, make sure you smash that subscribe button so you don't miss out any of my future content. And I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.